Hi Dooney fans, says what? I'm here with my 2018 tent sale haul. I think this is everything I got at the tent sale. I could be wrong, but if it is, I'll do an adjustment. I'll just give you an overview of the bags and then I'll give you a close up. If you notice, some of them have this color tag on them that indicated how much it was. Um, it was a sample bag and they had different price tiers. Like that one has an orange tag, that one has a red one, and that one also had a red one. I didn't buy these all in one day. And they're, um, I'll tell you a little bit more about them if you keep watching. The first one is a medium Florentine satchel in denim. I was lucky enough to get a medium satchel. There weren't a lot of them at the tent sale. And um, I see I still have a little bit of plastic here. But, um, very happy with this bag and there's nothing um, too remarkable about it. It's your standard Dooney setup inside and it's a great looking bag. There's a look at the back. Next bag I wanted to show you was this large Barlow in Espresso and Brown Timoro. I showed it to you while I was at the tent sale. Oh, this is my first Barlow. It has the text logo, this um, lizard finish, and it has a red interior that is finished um, in um, trimmed in leather. There's the leather patch. It has a little card slot in the front in this first pocket and then just another pocket in back. This is a lightweight bag for the size and I was really happy to get it. Next we have the large equestrian and ivy and um, it's all weather leather too kind of a pebbled leather with sierra trim the beautiful stitch work it has a pocket in the back and the red gingham interior to show you is the Dooney medallion. Love that with the duck. It opens with this uh, kind of tongue and groove opening and then it just has a slip pocket in the front and a zip pocket in the back and the key keeper. There's the interior of that bag. Uh, the next bag I got was a sample bag and if you follow my channel you might know that I have the Patriotic Duck backpack so I was really excited to see this in the sample bin. It had a red tag on it which on the first day denoted that things were a hundred dollars but I think I paid 75 for it. It has um, these triple zips with the braided zipper pull, the duck medallion, it 
it has a zip closure and I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it has a sewn in tag that says sample not for resale. This was pretty beat up from being in the bins. People were searching through it, through the bins pretty aggressively. But um, I conditioned this bag and it looks great, I think. Let me get out of the light. It has the genuine Florentine Vaquetta leather logo on the back and a slip pocket on the back. This bag has a long crossbody strap. It's called the North-South Triple Zip. And what I thought was interesting about it is it has these handwritten notes. So on 5-14-2018, they made a note to change the size of the Dooney and Burke embossing to 45 millimeters. I didn't mention, but when I was looking at the inside, there are no pockets on the inside. What I kind of like about this style is it lays flat against your body the way that the straps are attached. The next bag I picked up is this Kendra satchel. It's in a nylon leather with, um, I don't know, is this butterscotch uh, trim? It has a nice tassel zipper. It has the grommets so you can adjust the handles. Here's the back. I think this pattern is so pretty. This is called the Kendra Satchel Tommy Prince Tropical, and the color is dusty blue. It has a date of 2017. The collection is called Tommy Prince Tropical. This bag has a dark blue interior, and there's a good shot of the sewn-in samples not for resale tag this bag has gold hardware and it's just a great lightweight bag and i think it'll be perfect in the summer for me or really anytime i feel like carrying it i don't really have a summer or winter bag type of philosophy if you notice, this has an orange tag on it, and I bought this on the last day of the tent sale, and I paid $50 for it. I'm very happy I got it. A few other folks picked up this print as well. I don't know if we'll see this upcoming this print upcoming or if it's something they decided not to make but I think it's just beautiful. My last bag is this really stunning tote with the bold maple leaf graphics on it. It is kind of a dark brown coated cotton background and it has the gold Dunian Burke plate. It has these slim uh, straps with the grommets. A really strong magnetic clasp. And then it just has the red interior. It doesn't have any pockets or any information at all. Um, it has a little bit of Sierra trim and the Sierra straps. Here's the back of the bag. Here's the back of the bag, a better view, and 
This one either had a red or an orange tag on it, but I also bought this one on the last day of the tent sale when they were bringing in some new samples and um, I paid $50 for it as well. It does not have feet on the bottom. So it's reminiscent of the Maple Leafs pattern that is so hard to find now, but um, I think it is a beautiful bag nonetheless. So here's one last look at my sample bags that I bought at the Dooney and Burke tent sale in 2018. And the overall experience was just wonderful. I had the best time ever. And that was um, not so much for the bags, but for the company that we had. Everyone was a blast and I'm truly thankful for the experience. Thanks for watching.